Hey Modelers, Engineer Jeff here, and in this tutorial we're going to paint the Reaper Bones Ghast. He's got a Games Workshop circular base, and I put some sand on it to uh, kind of help the base blend in. We're using the Game Color Dead Flesh, mixing a little bit of turquoise in with it, and I'm going to airbrush this on with my Badger, um, I think it's a Patriot 105 that I'm using. And what we're going to do here is give it um, just a couple coats to get good coverage. It's always better to put multiple coats on than one big heavy coat. Should look something like that. And then we'll take the dead flesh again and we're going to do uh, kind of a heavy dry brush. I'm not knocking all the paint off. Um, onto a towel or something so I mean you're basically um, just leaving uh, the, the green turquoise color in the shadows so you get something a little like this actually made this video oh I recorded it uh, over a year ago and uh, finally got around to editing it uh, just these last couple months and that's what it'll look like after that first dry brush coat so we'll take some bone white and we're gonna hit all the extreme highlights um, these are raised areas where light would hit them. I don't know, would light hit a gas anywhere? Would you ever see light, light on a gas unless it's like a torch light or maybe moonlight? I would think they would stay in the dark all the time. But that's what we're doing. We're going to highlight up some of the muscles, get a little more contrast. Top of the head, some of the more raised areas on the face gonna get the sternum really going to try to ramp up on the Reaper Bones stuff this year. I've got my Kickstarter from uh, the Reaper Bones Kickstarter 3 coming here this fall and I, I've got a mountain of bones to paint so you should see a lot more Reaper Bones stuff coming this year from me as the time permits. I'm really bringing these highlights out um, a lot because when we do our wash, um, it'll tone all this down. So we'll take some Model Air White or any other white color you've got. And we're going to go in and go even more extreme on the highlights. Just some spots where you would maybe see the bone coming through. trying to pick out some details, some nuances. The edge of the jaw. Go in there and get the teeth while we're at it. I think I forgot, but I'm reminding you now. And 
I got to do some serious work to catch up on this mountain of reaper bones that I've got to paint. So you should end up with something a little like that. Give or take some highlights. I'll touch up the toes there. Saw something I missed. One of the things I notice with these is I always find mold lines after the fact after I've started painting so a lot of times what I'll do is I'll get the ones I see and then I'll do a prime coat on it and then I'll go in and uh, dig around see if I can find more mold lines and there always is one or two I think I'm painting up the claws on this guy and again the most important thing is to have fun while you're doing it painting should be relaxing. I think one of the problems I have with all the reaper bones that I have is not knowing which one to paint next so if you've got any requests feel free to leave them in the comments field down below uh, you know like hey Jeff I want you to paint one of these reaper bones I don't have many of the second uh, Kickstarter um, I've got quite a few but I don't have them all so if they were part of the second Kickstarter I might have to dig around and see if I can find one but I've got everything from Kickstarter 1 and uh, so basically if you have any suggestions just uh, feel free to leave a comment down below and we'll see what we can do to accommodate. And yeah I'm still highlighting some of the edges up here. And this is what we got so far. I'm going to take this uh, Model Air US Sand or any kind of light brown color and we're going to paint uh, the loincloth. Might need a couple coats to get good coverage. And we're going to use the Model Air Burnt Umber. Or just pick a nice dark brown. And you're going to paint, looks like a belt. Or what's left of one. Now we're going to take some hull red. It's a reddish brown. I'm going to paint. Um, these are, I guess, remnants of whatever shirt they had on before they turned. That's what we got so far. And we'll take the metallic color 
uh, Voleo Model Air Steel, and we painted the belt buckle. And take a little bit of Scarlet Red by Vallejo Model Air. You can use any red color, bright red color. And I'm just going to kind of, I mixed uh, a little bit of it in with the Burnt Umber. And I'm just doing some highlights on that, uh, that dark brown color. Maybe had a nice fancy red shirt on at one point. Or it could be blood. I added a little bit of the light brown color to it and uh, I'm doing some more highlights on that cloth. Something like that when you're done. Missed a spot. So I've taken some bone color, the uh, bone color we had before, and mixed it in with the sand. And here I'm just kind of highlighting up the loincloth so it sticks out a little more. Get some contrast. I think it's important when you're doing washes um, to go a little extreme on the highlights because when you do a wash or a glaze it's going to knock it down. So this is um, kind of a homegrown green color that I made up out of fluorescent green paint. You can use escorpina green if you want um, and I'm painting the eyes. So you get that ah, glow. You spooky scary. It's coming to get you. So we're going to use the gold yellow. And we're going to paint his fingernails more of a yellow rotten color. Might as well get his toenails too. I don't think they have very good hygiene, these ghasts. Something like that. So I'm taking some green. This is goblin or sick green. And I'm going to mix some uh, brown in with it. Uh, burn umber. And then some water. And maybe a little bit of uh, future floor polish. And I'm just making a wash out of it. Be a nice murky soupy mess. And once it's all done, we're going to coat the model with it. Just glob it on. You may have to do a couple coats. Um, I'm really laying this stuff on. Essentially, this is a glaze. As thin it is, as it is. Going to muddy him up, make him dirty, like he's been out living in the cemetery and the one of the things I did after it dried is I went in back in with yellow and uh, touched up some of the highlights on the top of the skin so like because uh, I wanted to get like a torch light effect and uh, and then washed it again one more time so that's the yellow hue you see in the muscles but uh, yeah we're gonna call it done Feel free to experiment with the colors, come up with your own color scheme. So if you like this video, please comment in the comments field down below. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Coming up next, Reaper Bones Rats.
Thanks for watching. Peace.